The Distributive Property, Part 1, by Jeff Simpson. The distributive property has something to do with multiplying. So, we will start with a quick review of multiplication. This is a group of five boxes. This is one group of five boxes. This is a picture of 1 times 5. This is a picture of 2 times 5. This is a picture of 3 times 5. A picture of 4 times 5. You can write 4 times 5 three different ways. 4 times 5, 4 times 5 with a dot, 4 times 5 with parentheses. Well, that's it for the multiplication review. Now, we'll use some pictures to introduce the distributive property. Here are three boxes. Here are two more boxes. This is a picture of 3 plus 2. Here is another group of 3 plus 2. Two groups of 3 plus 2. Two groups of 3 plus 2 is written like this. 2 in front of the parentheses. 3 plus 2 inside the parentheses. Three groups of 3 plus 2 is written like this. And four groups of 3 plus 2 is written like this. How many blue boxes are there? There are 12 blue boxes. How did you know there are 12 blue boxes? Did you count them all, one at a time? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That takes a long time. Did you count them by threes? Three, six, nine, twelve. Well, that's faster. Did you multiply four times three? Because there are four rows of three. Four times three is twelve. That is the fastest way to do it. Yes, you can multiply four times three. That gives you twelve. How many red boxes are there? Yes, there are eight red boxes. How did you know there are eight red boxes? Did you count them all one at a time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That takes a long time. Did you count them by twos? Two, four, six, eight. That's faster. Or did you multiply 4 times 2? You could, you know, because there are 4 rows of 2. 4 times 2 is 8. That's the fastest way to do it. Yes, you can multiply 4 times 2 and get 8. We can ask both questions at the same time. How many blue boxes are there and how many red boxes? We can multiply 4 times 3, 4 rows of 3, and multiply 4 times 2, 4 groups of 2. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8. We can multiply 4 times both numbers. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8. That's the fastest way to do it. When we multiply this way, we call it distributing. When the teacher distributes a test to every student, 
it means that she hands it out to every student. Every student gets one. We distribute multiplication the same way. 2 times 4, 2 times 2, 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 2 times 1, and so on. Uh, one more question. How many boxes are there altogether? We can add what we got when we multiplied. 12 plus 8 equals 20. There are 20 boxes altogether. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8. 12 plus 8 equals 20. That is the fastest way to do it using the distributive property 4 times 3 and 4 times 2. But there is another way to work this problem. Just add 3 plus 2, that gives you 5, and multiply by 4. 4 times 5 equals 20. Just add 3 plus 2 and multiply by 4. Why use the distributive property when we can do something easier? For a problem this easy, we would not use the distributive property. But for a problem that is harder, like this one, we would use the distributive property 4 times x plus 2. Since we do not know what number x stands for, 4 times x plus 2, some number plus 2, we cannot add x plus 2. I mean, what is x plus 2? We don't know. Since we don't know what x is, you can't add them together. But we can multiply 4 times x. 4 times x is, well, just 4x. And we can multiply 4 times 2. That gives you 8, of course. We distribute multiplication by multiplying 4 times x and 4 times 2. 4 times x gives you 4x. 4 times 2 gives you 8. That is the only way to do it. You can learn more about the distributive property in the upcoming Part 2 video. If the ideas in this video were helpful to you, please share them with someone else who might need them. Thanks. My book, Equations, has more ways of understanding and practicing the distributive property. You can see pages 159 to 224 in the Equations book. You can find my equations book on our website, masterylearningsystems.com.